all my authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. I tell you the truth, it is hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and everyone who humbles himself will be exalted. So I say to you, ask and it will be given to you, search, and you will find knock, and the door will be opened for you. Christ literally walked in our shoes and entered into our affliction. Those who will not help others until they are destitute reveal that Christ's love has not yet turned them into the sympathetic persons the gospel should make them. Not only do we not know God except through Jesus Christ, we do not even know ourselves except through Jesus Christ. Humanly speaking, it is impossible. But with God everything is possible. Why do we expect to be better treated in this world than Jesus was? Jesus took the tree of death so you could have the tree of life. As you walk through the valley of the unknown, you will find the footprints of Jesus both in front of you and beside you. I feel as if Jesus Christ died only yesterday. As many have learned and later taught, you don't realize Jesus is all you need until Jesus is all you have. God had one son on earth without sin, but never one without suffering.
Jesus is not one of many ways to approach God, nor is he the best of several ways. He is the only way. Jesus is the head of the church. He expects his body to cooperate. Jesus Christ is not a problem. He is the solution to every problem for life, for death, and for eternity. If you had a thousand crowns you should put them all on the head of Christ. And if you had a thousand tongues they should all sing his praise, for he is worthy.